Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Now today I wanted to do a quick little video showing you how you can improve your gecko's aim with one little trick. Now most leopard geckos have great vision and can be impeccable hunters. However some, like Mini here, may have been born with an eye defect that can affect their depth perception or they may have something like Enigma syndrome where their hunting ability is severely compromised. So I thought I'd share this little technique with you as it may help your gecko out. Now equally if you have a gecko that hasn't seen food that you've put down and you don't want to run the risk of pointing at the food and getting your finger accidentally bitten then you can try this as well. So what is this amazing technique and what do you need for it? Simply something like this. This is a rubber vivarium door wedge and this will totally do. Now of course you can use other things but I do prefer this because if the gecko accidentally bites it it won't damage their teeth but equally uh, it won't easily break off so there's no risk of them accidentally eating it. So very simply as you pop down the food in front of your gecko you use the wedge to create a larger target. Now I found that when Minnie's aim isn't perfect she'll aim for the wedge but end up getting the food because you know her aim is quite bad at times. Now I've also found that you can move the wedge or hold the food in place and move it and this will keep the gecko more interested rather than um, they aim for the food, they keep missing and then they just walk off. If you've had a gecko whose aim isn't that great you'll notice it so they'll try a few times and then they'll just be like nah forget it and walk off. So I find that this does hold their attention a lot better, it creates a bigger target and over time I have found that it can improve their aim. Now I don't have to do this every time with Minnie, some days she'll be a surprisingly good hunter and ideally I'd prefer to leave her to hunt down her food because it's a great enrichment activity for her. However on the days where she's struggling I will use this technique. Also if you feel your gecko is prone to missing its prey and you're currently using loose substrate maybe pop in a piece of slate or something that it can feed on to lessen the risk of accidentally eating some substrate. What I use is Earth Mix Arid, which is totally fine if accidentally ingested, but obviously if your gecko keeps missing and it keeps just taking in substrate and not the food that it wants, it will get frustrated and walk off. So if it will help, pop in some slate or something like that that you can feed them on. Anyway, I hope this video has helped. I know it's a little bit short, but this is something I've been doing with me for almost 12 years and I figured you know it could help a lot more geckos out there so I'd share it with you guys. Um, they might not take to it straight away as I said try wiggling the wedge around, try holding the food and wiggling it around. Over time though I have found that she then associates the wedge with food because every time she's aimed for that wedge she's got her food so that's kind of like positive reinforcement so over time they do get to know that this is what to aim for. Um, the wedges are usually available in shops or online if I can find some I'll leave links below they're usually really cheap. I did used to use a plastic spoon but I find the wedges are more precise and as I said if the geckos accidentally bite them it doesn't do any damage and of course for me it doubles up as a vivarium door wedge. <laughs> anyway if you haven't already, please subscribe. I upload videos every four days. But yeah, thank you so much for watching, guys, and goodbye. <laughs>